Hello and happy Friday. I hope you're doing well. This is Fridays with Brandon and today what we're going to be going over is on Fluke Fridays episode number 63 we're going to be going over uh, the Fluke 114B. It's a thermal couple calibrator. I've had a couple people ask me questions about this and just kind of like what are the resources out there and what does this thing actually do? So we're gonna go through it today. We don't have any questions, so um, we're not gonna do any Q&A today. But if you do have any questions during the video about anything regarding Fluke, put them in the comments below and maybe I'll answer them next week's uh, video. Okay, so the 714B, I'm gonna oh, turn it off, I'm gonna turn it back on for us. And we've got a backlit screen, so nice and easy to see. Kind of the first things you're going to notice when you turn it on is just a really big, nice display where you can see the temperature, you can see millivolts, and you can see milliamps. You can also see percentage to span, um, and you can see what thermocouple you're dealing with. So if you look at, if you click thermocouple type, you can see lots of different thermocouples you can deal with. Anything from, I assume it's all the thermocouples. I don't know. I'm not a thermocouple expert, but it's a lot of them. K is probably the most common. That's what we're going to be dealing with today. I actually have a K-type thermocouple with a little Rosemont uh, 644 heart transmitter. So we're going to use that to kind of mess with this today. <clears throat> the first thing you're going to do is when you get into it, you're going to decide, do we want to, you're going to use this measure source button. So are we wanting to measure or are we wanting to source? So for measuring, you could just put a thermocouple in here and you could get your, you could, you know, measure therm measure your temperature from the thermocouple. If you want to source, that means you want to push out millivolts out of this to simulate a thermocouple. And that's probably what most people are doing with this is they're going to want to use it um, to source millivolts. Okay, so we're going to spend more time with that. Uh, measuring, very simple, you just plug it in and get your number up there. Make sure you choose your right thermocouple. Now, in this case, uh, you know, you might have it on different ranges. So, if we hit zero, you see now it's sourcing from zero, and then I have max 150. Well, maybe you want it to be 250. If your uh, transmitter is set from zero to 250 or zero, maybe it's zero to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. You would do that and then say hit the shift button and then hit this to set it. So we do this, set, and now we can see 100%, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. We go to zero, zero, we go up by 25, and you can see 25%, 25 degrees Fahrenheit, so on and so forth. In this case, this is actually set from zero to 150. So I'm going to do this. So I just scrolled left and right and then up and down to change the numbers, right? So I'm gonna do 150 and I wanna set that at my 100%. So I hit the shift key, set, and now I'm at uh, sourcing 150 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm still at 100%. And then if I hit zero, you can see it goes zero. If I went to like 50%, you see it's halfway. Okay, makes sense. Now we're sourcing it, but we're not measuring any millions because we're not programmed in. Now, one thing you want to do note, or you should note, is we are only going to be able to measure milliamps. You are not going to be able to source milliamps with this tool. If you need to source milliamps, you need to look at some of our other tools, um, like our multifunction process calibrators or our loop generators. Um, but this is not going to be the tool for you if you need to source 4 to 20, but you can measure it with this. Okay? So, we'll get into some of the other things once I hook up. So we've got our thermocouple or our transmitter over here. This is a heart transmitter. I needed a uh, loop power. So I got my 754 over here supplying loop power, but you could just be in your system as long as you have loop power involved uh, or attached. And I can't remember if I need to hook up this way or the other way. Oh, first try it did hook up the right way. So you see I'm at 50% and 12 million. So that's what we expect for 50%. We can go up or down. Again, we change that. Now there's 75% and 75% between four and 20 is 16. So just like what we'd expect, okay? So what else can you do with this? You could ramp, so you could hit the shift key and hit this ramp button, the up arrow, 
and it's going to start at the bottom. It's just going to go up, 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 up with the um, temperature, and it's going to measure the milliamps all the way up and all the way down. Okay. Another thing sometimes people want to do is they want to leave this behind instead of just ramping up and ramping down, which this is what this is doing, and it's fun and dandy. But you might want to hit the shift key and go to a step feature, and this is going to step it out. So it's going to be at zero for a while. It's going to let it kind of settle, and it's going to jump up to 25, and it's going to just keep doing that process. This is really why you would use a 714. Um, you want to calibrate a thermocouple. You want to measure the 4 to 20 in. It's going to tell you a lot of things, like I already said, but it's going to tell you the temperature, the millivolts out, and your it's going to measure your milliamps. Okay, and then also give you the source uh, and the multiple thermocouples. You know, it's a pretty basic tool, but it's great if you're just looking for that. Another tool that's kind of a sister tool of it, or a brother tool of it, depending on uh, how you want to talk about that, it would be the 712B, which is going to be, instead of thermal couples, it's going to be RTDs. And then you take a step up from that if you want to get into like a 724, then you can do both thermal couples and RTDs all in one tool. And then above that, you start getting to where you can do pressure with like a 725 and then all the way up to the documenting process calibrators where you can get software to interface with these things. So I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions or if I didn't cover this a feature in the 714B that you really like, please let me know um, and we'll see you next week. Have a great weekend.